everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Welcome back to Team Recorder. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications if you haven't already. Today I'm going to be getting into a bit of technique with you, how to make your playing sound clean. And by this I mean get rid of all those messy blips and inaccuracies that kind of make you sound like an amateur. We're going for a bit more of a professional clean sound. And by playing in a clean way, I don't mean by playing robotic or everything has to be exactly perfect. Of course you can still be expressive and emotional um, and I give you some tips about that in another video. The tip for making your playing sound really clean is setting the stage. By this I mean making sure that your hands and fingers are physically nice and warm, making sure that you've not just eaten something sticky, that you're nice and warmed up and that you're physically just ready to play. A lot of people like to brush their teeth or drink water before playing, some use a heating pad to warm their hands and though this isn't exactly um, something for your technique, you want to start off in the best way possible. So go and do that. Number two, making sure your fingers are moving exactly together. Now, due to the joys of the recorder, we have some pretty crazy fork fingerings going on. And one of the number one causes of messy, inaccurate sounding playing is when your fingers don't move exactly together. So instead of something like, we hear, And those little blips mean that some fingers are moving faster and slower than others. Blech. A nice way to practice this is to take a bit of a tricky fingering, like and make up a rhythm for it and really try and feel your fingers slapping the instrument in a rhythmic way. legato as well because then all of your inconsistencies will really show up. <laughs> Tip three follows on from this. How do I make three? Your fingers and your tongue should move exactly together. <laughs> fingers move at the moment that you begin the note, not before, not in between, not this. Now when a lot of us are learning the recorder, we get used to putting the fingers down, blowing, setting up the next note, blowing, but that means you're actually going in the rhythm, move the fingers, blow, move the fingers, blow. And if you think about it, you're having to play double speed because you're moving your fingers in between your tongue. Dabba, 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 dabba. How on earth do you practice this? Okay, what I like to do is take a scale, Keep your fingers going, but only blow every other note. That was not perfect. You will have heard a couple of blips there, and that was when my fingers and my tongue weren't moving exactly together. Number four is understanding your registers. Now, clean playing isn't only about coordination, but it's about making sure your notes aren't gonna crack. Good example. Especially on those usual suspects like the high D flat or the F. As you move higher up the recorder into higher registers, the air pressure you need is gonna be different. So it's all about really taking the time to get to know your instrument. Every size and model of recorder will react a little bit differently. So you want to get to know exactly what air pressure you need to make that specific note speak. When you're playing a piece with lots of big jumps, it can feel a bit like you're just praying that those notes are gonna come out. But take the guesswork out of it. Really take the time to practice those notes in your practice room, please. And it's not only the air pressure, but tip five is understanding your thumb hole. We learn thumb hole closed, thumb hole half open, and that's kind of it. 
but actually the amount you open your thumb hole is going to differ per note. Roughly said, the higher you play, the smaller the opening needs to be. So really take the time to learn how much it has to be open to get your high F. The answer is very little. With a combination of knowing your air pressures and knowing your thumb hole, those high notes and those big jumps are not gonna seem daunting anymore, I promise. Number six is that your tongue can really help you. When you're going for a high note, don't forget it's not only the air that's giving you the pressure you need, you can help yourself by giving a decisive articulation. That was terrible. This is a perfect example of the three areas of recorder playing, tongue, air, and fingers, thumb hole, working together in perfect harmony to make a note. And my last tip, number seven, to make your playing sound cleaner is to get rid of involuntary vibrato. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this is something we see quite often in people who start playing the recorder as adults. Um, a very wavery, fast vibrato. <laughs> Now, of course, a nice vibrato can be really beautiful and necessary for making your playing expressive, but we want it to be voluntary and we want you to be able to shape it. And of course, the question of breathing and breath support is a huge one. Luckily, I've done a video on that as well. But here's an exercise to get you started. Um, breathe nice and relaxedly down into your belly and see if you can hold a note for 10 seconds without it wavering. Even the very act of really listening to yourself like this is going to make a huge difference for your tone. And how to develop this exercise, choose different notes that require different breath pressures, try and blow for longer, it's going to make a difference for you. Wow, okay, so I rattled through those um, seven points super quickly. You're probably thinking now, oh my god, that is so much, how do I tackle all of that? But um, the thing is, if you really want to master a musical instrument, it's never simple, it's never quick, it's never easy, um, but it is rewarding and it's really worth it to spend this time. And the way I see making music is that it really is a lifelong journey. Um, so rather than thinking, ah, I have to get to that destination now and otherwise I've failed, just try and enjoy the ride. I have covered a lot of these topics in detail in other videos, I'm going to put them all down in the description so you can browse at your leisure. As always you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Down here is a link to the Teen and Recorder web shop where you can order my debut album, by the way I recorded an album, <laughs> and um, up here is a link to a video that's going to help your technique, not decided which one yet. Thanks for watching and have a great day. <laughs>